Hello, welcome to my shop. I am Orlando and you are watching Sin City Cycling. And today is something I am uh, wasn't expecting for a while. Here, I'll show you. So, I ordered the new frame. Bam! And uh, I paid for uh, air shipping so it wouldn't get stuck on uh, the coast because we're having that issue as you guys know in California. Well, maybe you don't know. Uh, there is a huge backlog of container ships that are waiting to be unloaded in California. Uh, so I was seriously worried about getting the frame from China, so I went ahead and paid uh, extra 50 bucks for air freight. Uh, the original uh, arrival date was December 2nd, and I got it two days ago, so we're like a month early. So it's uh, November 5th right now. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start this build, but I figured we'd take a look at the frame first. Uh, we really didn't get to cover much of that on the first frame. There was a small clip of it when, in the painting video, but that was about all we showed. Uh, so pretty much all I'm going to be doing, I don't know if you can see her back there, but uh, we're going to be taking the parts off of the old mountain bike and putting them on the new. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, unboxing of the frame from China. I am excited to get back out there and uh, not crash this time. Okay, and as I stated in the opening, we paid uh, the expedited shipping, uh, which is air freight, uh, to avoid the container ship back up in Cali. So uh, I was quite surprised to see this sitting on my doorstep. Uh, it's wrapped in its usual uh, from China foam wrapping that's going to take longer to take off than building the bike. Uh, this looks like a box of bits. Not sure what they're going to be sending me considering they charge extra for everything. Uh, but they were really cool, by the way, uh, helping me uh, pick out a new frame uh, after I broke the other one, even asking if I was okay, which is, you know, I suppose they didn't have to do that, but it was nice that they did. And, uh, you know, I am still kind of working through some of the injuries. Uh, I had some injury to my ribs, but uh, we haven't let that stop us too much in the riding. So let's uh, see what we get in the goodie bag here first. This looks like headset pieces. Uh, looks like a derailleur hanger. And the lugs to switch from quick release to. Uh, uh, why can't I think of the word now? Screw uh, axle. Uh, C clamp. Mm, looks like a head spacer. And uh, some more of those little clips for the cables. So nothing that we don't have already. Right. And uh, we did go with the carbon frame again. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I got this one, it was on clearance, uh, and they gave us a little bit of a discount. So uh, I believe out the door, or before tax, it was $235. And I uh, was shipping and everything, it was uh, a little over 300 So complete carbon fiber mountain bike frame, 300 bucks. And uh, this one should have, uh, where is my knife? This one should actually have their uh, VXC logo on it. They didn't have uh, the plain carbon anymore. So curious to see how that's gonna look. And it uh, looks like it's clear coated already. I'm be careful with this blade, I don't want to scratch anything here. I always get too excited and uh, unwrapping and then I uh, compromise the uh, frame, which I think I just did. Yep. I did. Just I'm going to keep that away from it. So it's under the clear. I mean, I guess. I mean, it's better than nothing, considering uh, this is a 2020 model, and uh, the new models uh, have a different uh, head spacing and different sizes on that, so I was a little bit worried about having to find uh, new parts. I just wanted it to be a direct swap for uh, our old stuff off the broken frame to just put onto the new frame. Uh, I did have to go with uh, a little bit of a smaller frame, but uh, the other one was a little bit big for me. So I'm not sure if that kind of had uh, any uh, role to play in the accident. But uh, I'm hoping that this one not only is going to be lighter, but should be a little bit easier for me to control because it's a smaller bike. So 
going through switchbacks and tight stuff like that, that should be helpful. I'm kind of upset that I scratched it already here. I don't know if you guys can see the little neck in the flame there. But uh, I'm sure our friend Nick could probably help us remedy the neck in the frame. <laughs> here all day, folks. And uh, I'm hoping to knock this out here in one day. I have a, a new project coming up. Uh, Nick bought a uh, real Colnago frame uh, from, uh, yeah, what the hell are they called? Uh, the Pros Closet. And uh, I'm going to be swapping uh, the stuff from the Bonego to the actual Colnago that's uh, supposed to be here in Vegas today. So. Those parts should be arriving here, so I'm hoping that I can have this done before that gets to my shop, so I don't have conflicting projects. So, but uh, having already built uh, one of these, it should go pretty quickly, considering I know how to do it now, so. Oh, uh, why does that not look like a brake line? Oh yeah, that's right, I think you did have to run that brake line through. So, and uh, as far as that kind of stuff goes too, I'm hoping to, uh, use the existing uh, stuff that's already on there. I don't have any more of that cable for the brakes, so I'm hoping that I can reuse that. If not, I'll have to uh, just build part of it until uh, I can order some more, which uh, from Amazon, it shouldn't take too long. Anyway, so as you can see here, the 10 minutes that I've been doing this is just taking off the, uh, the foam wrapping, which always seems to take more than the actual build. I kind of like the exposed carbon look. All right, and there she is. Here it's the logo. Oh, and they got it on their head too as well. Uh, but it is essentially uh, the exact same frame. I'm hoping everything will just be a quick swap over. Uh, what is that? Oh, for the front derailleur, which we don't need. Um, so this has the, the same little cover too as the other one did. So that's good. And I'm not going to cover too much of this build considering we've already done it. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what uh, the size difference looks like here compared to the old one. So. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's much smaller. I mean, it's a little bit. You can see on the top two here, which is where I was having an issue with the size, but uh, man, this is hella light. I really like how you can see all that exposed carbon fiber in there too, it's pretty. And uh, before I start building, I wanted to show uh, some of the newer parts that I picked up uh, to go on this one. Uh, so I had originally gotten a 42T for the front uh, chain ring and uh, thinking it was going to be a gravel bike. Anyway, you guys already know that story. Uh, but what I did was I had bought a, a 32T chain ring, uh, but when I got it, I realized that it was a, a, a four hole instead of a five hole, which is what's on the bike now. Uh, so I'm hoping that this will work. Uh, this is from the same company, uh, Z-Race, and uh, it is a four hole uh, chain ring. So I'm hoping that those will go together. I haven't actually checked out how they look yet, but I'm hoping that I'll have a little bit better gearing once this thing goes back together, which uh, isn't gonna help me from crashing, but it'll help uh, going up hills and such. So uh, let's see if it matches up here. Does appear so. I'm not sure if it goes on the inside or the outside. Probably the outside, huh? Anyway, so that's uh, what we're going with uh, 32T up front, and uh, I believe it's an 1150 on uh, the back cassette, so uh, I'll have to verify that. But uh, 
Uh, this design here, it, it looks reminiscent of the cranks that I'm using here, so I'm hoping that it'll just be a quick swap of pulling off the old one and putting on the new one. So this will be a pretty good upgrade for uh, the bike. And it does look like that other ring is just going to fit right in here. I don't know if you can see that pattern here, but it looks to be a match, which uh, is nice. Okay, so I just pulled off the old uh, chain ring, the 42, and uh, the new one fits like a glove. It fits right on there, so uh, we will be able to upgrade to uh, the 32T, which here you can see the difference of from the 42 to the 32. Uh, is quite significant, and uh, this should hopefully make things a lot easier for me climbing. Okay, so things are coming along pretty well. We're almost at a stopping point here. Uh, I have the bars installed, uh, the headset installed. Uh, I've installed the cranks, but it looks like I'm going to have to use uh, some different spacers. Um, so pretty much everything next is going to be wiring everything, which that should take a good hour or so. Uh, also, it looks like uh, I may have to shorten the seat post here because it is hitting uh, uh, the bolts that go through the frame here. So, uh, not much uh, it, it, as far as work goes. Uh, I spent more time, I think, putting the cranks together than uh, putting everything else together. So, we're getting close. Uh, hopefully, uh, within the, the next uh, hour or so, we should be done. So, anyway, for you guys, it'll be quick. Moving on to the recabling of the bike. Uh, pretty much everything's already set to go. I already have the tubes ran through the frame from the factory, so that's already done. Uh, all we're doing is reconnecting everything and putting everything back together. Uh, the only problem I think I might have is the chain line with this new 32 tooth uh, uh, chain wheel. So that'll be something we have to check out once we get it all back together. Uh, but right now I'm just running cable. so. And uh, I reused the old cable that was on the other bike. There was only about 60 miles on the other bike, so there's no reason why I couldn't just reuse it. So. So I have this 3M uh, clear uh, plastic wrap that uh, I'm sizing to use on uh, the chainstay and uh, behind where the wheel goes. Uh, I picked this up off of Amazon for like 10 bucks. Uh, the ready-made pieces were like $25 and you only got a couple of pieces. With this I got a whole roll, so that way I could use it however I want to use it. And uh, what I did was I traced out on a piece of paper the pattern I wanted and uh, then transferred the pattern to uh, the plastic. And uh, you're supposed to use uh, soapy water uh, and a, like a credit card to smooth it out, but uh, I find it sticks just fine without all that, that stuff.
you know, protect it from scratches. And I also put a piece here and here on the inside to protect that area. So, as you can see, you can't really see a bunch of stuff, and that's the idea. All right, I'm just about done with the cabling here, or the recabling. And uh, this frame is smaller, so I've been having to resize the cable as I go. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I've already ran it through the frame, which is the big hassle, so the hard shit's done. It looks like I'm going to luck out and be able to reuse all the cable from the other frame, so... Like I said, there wasn't that many miles on it to begin with. Alright, I'm just about finished here. I figured you guys want to take a look uh, and see how the new uh, sprocket is functioning. Uh, I still have to tune it, which is the last thing I have left to do here. Uh, besides uh, capping the lines and making sure the brakes function. I still had a click left on the shifter, so I gotta pull that click out, which is what I'm doing right now. And we will go to first click. Nice. Concerned about the arms of this new uh, spider touching the chain, but it looks like it's clearing. Sounds kind of crunchy. It probably needs to be cleaning the chain. All right. Okay. And uh, I just picked up uh, these pedals here. I wanted something that was uh, single construction, uh, so it didn't have a lot of uh, moving parts to uh, hit rocks and uh, fall apart. I picked these up for $13 on Amazon. Um, they're, uh... sorry. I'm Rider bicycle pedals. I haven't really uh, tried them yet, so they're uh, whether or not they're good or not, we'll see. So, but uh, that's what I'm going to use. Okay, uh, now that the cars are passed, uh, everything seems to be functioning pretty good. Uh, the brakes need a little bit of work in the front there. Uh, shifting's good. Everything else seems to be all right. Like I said, it was a pretty straightforward build considering we've done it already. Uh, but as always, I appreciate you guys stopping in. Consider hitting that like and that subscribe. As always, I am Orlando. You have been watching Sin City Cycling. Peace.